Hello, this is John and Mike from BrewDashDudes.com, and we have another smash tasting for you with an experimental hop, HBC 438. No fancy marketing name for this particular hop variety. It's still experimental, and I believe it's for home brewers only. Oh, isn't that great? Yes, it's wonderful to be a home brewer. Yeah, it sure is, uh, especially when there's varieties that are. You know, I know they're only available to us, but certainly uh, available to us uh, since it's not, I don't think it's uh, actually being grown at a large scale. So, so I was happy to get my hands on this. Um, as per usual, I brewed another gallon batch uh, using one ounce of uh, these hops and uh, follow the same procedure as I had for the uh, previous smash beer that we, uh, that we drank um, last week. Uh, the Azaka hops, so it's uh, probably a quarter ounce at uh, 60 minutes to go in the boil, and then the rest right at flame out to really drive the aromas and the flavors of this particular hop uh, variety. So, while uh, I take a few sips and uh, whiffs off the top, Mike, what exactly are you smelling and tasting on this? My very first whiff I got like a fruitiness. There was a fruitiness there, but I'm struggling to find it again. <laughs> um, it went away. Yeah, it went away. But uh, but I get like a an herbal, vegetable like mm. aroma, and then in the taste I get like um, I what I'm really tasting is like red chili peppers, you know, with none of the heat, but just the the flesh of the chili pepper. Like that, like a red chili pepper. So huh. it's it's a little bit fruity, a little bit sweet. There's a little bit overall. There's a little bit of that dusty resinous quality that I spoke about last time. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's aggressively bitter. Hmm. The bitterness is not. Uh, yeah, Zach had high a very, for me. had a very bitter. It was definitely bitter. bitterness. Yeah. Um, this is definitely smoother. Hmm. But there's definitely a uh, a bit of a spicy thing for mm. me here. I'm getting a lot of uh, red grapefruit or pink grapefruit. Okay, you know, I, it's it's not the. It's not as like a yeah as acidic though. It's just like that's that what I'm saying. Super like a juicy, juicy grapefruit. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's where I'm getting like my. It's like a bell pepper red, like a serrano mm. red pepper. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, I almost feel like I get like there's a nut quality in here too. Like, what kind of nut? Like, um, you know how like um, You're a nut. like I am a nut. Like a, like a fruity, like a cashew sort of has like a fruity finish to it. A macadamia has. Oh, that too. That too. Yeah. But it's you know it's it's I think what it is is there's a uniqueness to it that I can't. My palate is not pinning down. Okay. Would uh, say I'll tell you what it's gonna say. It's gonna say mango. No, it's and not. Grape it's not. It's not. It's oh. not actually. Here are the four descriptors that I see. It's gonna say cashews, stone fruit, stone fruit. Can you get any kind of cherry maybe, or maybe just the stone? <laughs> the pit. The pit. Tropical fruit, orange, which I think is okay. Interesting. It's your yeah yeah. Um, and maybe that's what maybe that's what that orange is. isn't yeah because orange isn't as as citrus yes, it's not as fruit, yes. acidically as citrus. tart is uh, like yeah. I think of grapefruit juice and I think that makes me kind of wince and it's not as acidic as say lemon it definitely has a, a sweeter the sweeter side of citrus going on there and then the last is minty herbal yes yes minty, minty, herbal. minty herbal but is this as minty as a zaka no way but it's it's more herbal. It's, mm. I think it's like earthy herbal. Mm -hmm. I could maybe see getting like underripe plum out of this. I haven't had an underripe plum. I oh, think. well, you're fortunate. <laughs> There's still like a nut quality in there too for me, but maybe that's just that, that, er that earthy thing. Probably. As it warms up, I'm getting this, a little This to me, it's unique. I would ditch the Azaka and I would Ooh. use this as the, as a weird thing mm. to tie a bunch of other really distinctive hops together, like pick two of this your, is your grape hops, fruit. yeah, and then this is your like yeah. tie it together underneath. I think that's where this hop would shine mm. for sure. 
Yeah, this uh, it actually wow, so many combinations, man, that you could do. True, this has a very nice clean mm -hmm. uh, uh, finish to it as yeah. well. The Izaka, now that I'm comparing it, um, had a long bitter aftertaste, and it's just not here. It's interesting, yeah. you know, that it's it's essentially the same beer I brewed, uh, you know, night uh, like over three three nights. We'll we'll get to the third one next week. Um, but it's essentially the same beer with just the, the hop variety uh, switched out. So You know, now that it's warmed up a little bit and I just let it live on my palate without drinking more of it, I, f I, it, I feel like I've just eaten some red grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Like super, if you have like super ripe grapefruit, mm -hmm. it's not as tart. It's just juicy. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just fruity tasting. Um, but there's definitely, there's like some pith there, like some of that oil, essential oil, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's actually, I, again, I think this is a great supporting, I, I wouldn't think this is going to lead the show, but I think, but this could really help you round out some yeah. other players. Especially, uh, those late hop editions. Mm -hmm. I think it's a nice, mm -hmm. a nice character hop. And I think that I would, um, switch it out with, you know, those other varieties that bring a lot of grapefruit to the party. I think this... Would be a nice substitute for that. I, so. I would love to see this blended with just like this and Centennial mm -hmm. alone. Like Centennial is like like super cascade. Mm -hmm. So this might really blend super nice with that. I'm thinking this and Simcoe, some Simcoe, some of that dank kind of. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's good. Good hop. Interesting hop. That's a really good one. HBC 438. Yes. So who knows? I, I think this is one to track. This this may. Uh, continue to be cultivated. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, ready for prime time yet, but it's certainly one that, as time goes on, I bet you will get a, you know, a brand name, and uh, we will know this is something else. I bet the backstory in this hop is none of the pros wanted it, <laughs> so they so the hop breeder programs they put it into the homebrew market mm -hmm. because that's where experimentation really happens. And once we decide that we love it, then that'll that'll create a market for an actual commercial beer brewed with it. Because okay. it really, it, it's actually not bad. It's really nice hop. Yeah. So if homebrew. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate the time. Please like, uh, comment below, and subscribe to our channel. We try to put up a video every single week, and I think we've done a good job of that since 2013. Uh, for John and Mike, brewdashdudes.com. I need some more beer. But brew on. Brew on. This was good.